Hello, and thank you for watching this webcast tutorial. I'm Michael DeLuca, Go-To-Market Manager for the Industrial Solutions Division and Non-Semiconductors Image Sensor Group, and I'm happy to talk to you today about image sensors used for industrial imaging applications, uh, devices that provide the performance and image quality that's needed in these applications, while also simplifying the work required to develop cameras for this expanding market. Industrial imaging is a growing market that covers a wide variety of different individual applications, ranging from inspection and robot guidance through to high-end surveillance, intelligent transportation systems, scientific research, and much more. People working in these applications will all agree that they need an imaging system that provides high performance, since they're typically making some type of decision based on the image being captured, such as pass-fail on a device being inspected, or, or monitoring and analyzing an object, such as a car or a license plate. The, the problem, however, is that high performance can mean different things depending on the person you're talking to. Sometimes, a high performance might mean capturing a high-resolution image with high frame rate. This could be 10 or 20 megapixels at 50 or 100 or, or even 200 frames per second or more. The point would be to get as much information as possible in a short amount of time. But other times, different performance features might be more important. Maybe all that's needed for a particular application are video resolutions and frame rates, but what's really required is high-quality color information from a camera, say, that's physically small, that, that has a small footprint. Or maybe what's most important is light sensitivity, whether capturing images under low light or maybe working in non-visible wavelengths, such as the near-infrared. Or a different combination of these parameters, or, or other parameters completely. Uh, the, the problem is that the breadth of this application space means that no single imaging solution, no one camera, can really be used to meet all of the needs. So that camera manufacturers need to be able to provide a portfolio of different cameras offering different resolutions, frame rates, light sensitivities, output interfaces, and more, if they're going to serve this entire market. And this creates some real logistics problems for camera manufacturers because they want to be able to develop and provide support for these cameras in a way that's as simple as possible, but without sacrificing the performance that their customers need. I mean, think about it. If you want to develop a line of cameras that can address this broad set of applications, you need to start, of course, with the high level of image quality that your customers require. But then you need to be able to offer that image quality at multiple resolution nodes, sometimes VGA or video resolutions, other times multiple megapixels, whether 5 or 10 or 20 or more. You need a system that can provide high bandwidth data transfers to support high frame rates, but in a way that allows this to be scaled so that applications that don't need the highest data rates aren't paying for it. And you also need to be able to provide different configuration options for customers who need color or dedicated monochrome imaging, or who need to maximize image capture in near-infrared wavelengths, and on and on. But the key to all this is that you really need to find a way to do it that allows you to leverage your design resources across more than one camera at a time. Uh, unless you can afford to, to start a unique camera design for each of the individual camera options you want to offer, you're going to need to consolidate this development into a platform approach so that you can support multiple camera models at once. And then, in order to be competitive, you're, you're going to have to do all this in a way that's cost-effective so you can bring out and support all of these different camera models as quickly and as efficiently as possible. At On Semiconductor, our Python family of global shutter image sensors was designed specifically to help camera manufacturers solve these problems by providing an integrated family of high-performance image sensors with a range of resolutions and multiple configuration options. By designing for this platform, camera manufacturers can leverage a single camera design to support the entire family. In fact, all nine resolutions in the family, from VGA all the way up to 25 million pixels, can be supported using only two printed circuit boards. And the family does all this without sacrificing the high image quality that's required for critical image capture in these industrial applications. Today, there are 10 separate devices that are available in the Python family, which group into four different package and silicon footprints. Low resolution devices from VGA through 1.3 megapixels are available in a 48-pin LCC package 
with the 1.3 million pixel Python 1300 supporting a full resolution frame rate of over 200 frames a second. SVGA resolution, or 800 by 600 pixels, is also available in a smaller ball grid array package, the Python 480, which is designed specifically to enable development of small footprint cameras while retaining global shutter imaging at 120 frames a second. The 2 and 5 megapixel devices are available in both 84-pin LCC and 128-pad LGA packages and provide twice the data throughput of the lower resolution devices. And the highest resolution devices in the family come in a 355-pin micro PGA package with the Python 25K providing over 25 million pixels of data at up to 80 frames a second. This package and silicon design similarity makes it possible to easily leverage one camera design to support multiple products. Take the, the Python 300, 500, and 1300 devices as an, as an example. Since they all share a common package with the same pin definitions and electrical connections, one camera can be easily designed to support all three of these devices. In a similar way, you can say the same thing for the two mid-resolution devices, the Python 2000 and 5000. One de design will support both of these products as well. But in practice, these two board layouts can really be combined into one, since a socket is available that supports both of the LCC package designs, allowing any of these devices, from the VGA resolution Python 300 all the way up to the 5 megapixel Python 5000, each with options for color and monochrome and extended near-infrared sensitivity, some with additional options for output protocol or reduced power load, all of these can be supported in a single board layout. When you then add in a second board design for the micro PGA high-resolution devices, the Python 10K through 25K, you end up with nine resolutions in the family corresponding to 36 different saleable cameras all being supported using only two PCBs. Now, this interoperability doesn't help, of course, unless the actual imaging performance you get from these devices meets the needs of these applications. And that's why Python devices incorporate a number of different features and technologies that allow them to retain excellent image quality even under demanding image capture conditions. All of the devices in the family utilize a global shutter pixel design, which allows moving objects, whether on an assembly line or a person walking through a field of view, to be captured without the introduction of motion artifacts that can be associated with rolling shutter CMOS pixel designs. These devices also include correlated double sampling and on-chip fixed pattern noise correction, which preserve the integrity of the, of the final image even as lighting conditions are reduced. The pixel design used in Python devices also provides high sensitivity image capture that spans a broad range of different wavelengths. In addition to product versions in both monochrome and buyer color configurations, all Python resolutions are also available in a design that provides enhanced near-infrared sensitivity for applications where detection of long wavelength light, such as 850 nanometers or beyond, can be critical. One of the key performance attributes of this family is the frame rate that's supported by the devices. Python devices are designed to move data off of the sensor very quickly, enabling high frame rates, or really high bandwidths, the amount of data transferred per second. The highest resolution devices in the family have 32 separate high-speed LVDS output channels that result in a data throughput of 20 gigabits per second, well above the bandwidth that's available from interfaces such as USB 3.1 or 10 gig -E. In fact, four parallel co-express lines are needed in order to support full-speed data transfer from these devices. Lower resolution members of the family have fewer LVDS channels, but they still provide high frame rates. The, the Python 2000, for example, can support 1080p video at over 200 frames a second and the VGA resolution Python 300 supports over 800 frames per second at full resolution. But all of these frame rates can be increased, if needed, by reading out only a portion of the imaging array, a region of interest. Python devices support up to 32 separate ROIs that are configurable frame to frame. You can use this, for example, to monitor or track an object or a person as they move across the full field of view of the camera. 
And the speed increase you get here scales by the resolution of the ROIs in both the X and the Y directions. Unlike some other CMOS implementations, the architecture of Python devices allows for a true quadratic scaling of the frame rate when reading out a region of the full array. As a result, for example, the Python 25K can read out a 1080p resolution window at over 400 frames per second if needed, which is twice the frame rate that's available for the same resolution readout on the Python 2000. Python devices are also available in a variety of different product configurations beyond the options for different resolutions and color and monochrome and enhanced near IR sensitivity discussed earlier. There are packaging options that provide a smaller overall footprint or provide additional bonding locations to a PCB board. There are lower cost configurations available that offer a reduced power footprint. And devices are also available with protective tape that protects the image sensor during camera assembly from potential contamination. In total, there are over 65 different orderable devices that are available in the Python family, covering resolutions from VGA to over 25 million pixels, providing monochrome, buyer color, and enhanced near-infrared sensitivity, including devices with and without protective tape, accounting for different power, output, packaging configurations. But across all of this customization, all of these devices share the same high-quality imaging pixel design, the, the, the same high-speed output architecture construction, and the same overall electrical and programming nature, which means that the work that's done to develop a camera for any one of these configurations can be leveraged to support the full family of devices. On Semiconductor provides a variety of different support options to help not only in the, the evaluation of these devices, but also as a reference while a new design is underway. Detailed data sheets are available on our website at onsemi.com to provide information about the performance of the device before starting a new design. And evaluation kits allow the full performance of an image sensor to be evaluated on site with support for both still image capture and video recording and tools for image analysis and full control of the registers in the device. And then once a design is started, these same documents and tools can be used as a reference to assist with debugging and optimization to help make sure that your new Python camera design provides the best performance for your customers. The Python family of CMOS image sensors was designed specifically to allow camera manufacturers to develop a full portfolio of high-performance cameras in an integrated cost-effective manner. A single camera design can be leveraged to support the full family of product options ranging from VGA to over 25 megapixels in resolution, all with the global shutter imaging performance that is critical for industrial applications. These devices provide bandwidths that meet and exceed modern computer interfaces such as USB 3.1 and 10 gig E and offer the flexibility and the programmability to optimize performance, whether through customizable regions of interest or exposure control or synchronized shutter timings or whatever for the needs of different applications. All around the world, Python devices today have become the go-to solution for developing a family of cameras that provide the critical imaging performance that's needed in demanding imaging applications. With this family, camera manufacturers can leverage their camera development across a full product line with multiple configurations and resolutions, simplifying the work that's needed to develop and design and then support a full range of imaging solutions for their customers. Thank you.